Player manager John McClelland in the St Johnson starting lineup, but this was not a happy afternoon for him. Saints started well enough all right. From Sean McCauley's corner, Anthony Cole went close. They then continued to push for the opener. Alan Moore tried his luck from outside the box, but Nelson wasn't really troubled. It looked like being a goalless first half when John Davis found it difficult to bring the ball under control. Willie Jimison put Albert Craig through and he chipped the ball over Andy Rhodes to put Thistle ahead. Seconds after the restart, Craig came so close to increasing his side's lead. Shaw squared the ball to the midfielder and Andy Rhodes just got the vital touch to prevent what looked like being a certain goal. Saints then tried to get back into this match, which looked more and more unlikely though. Alan Moore crossed from the right and Greg Watson dashed to the line to deny Davis and then Torfesson. But Thistle's front men were giving the Saints' defence constant problems. Roddy Grant appeared to have all the time he liked to pick out Britain, but he couldn't direct the header on target. Minutes later, though, Britain was celebrating. He chased a high ball with Cole, but the defender's header back was short, and he nipped in to evade Rhodes and knock in the second. Then another defensive disaster for Saints. McClellan knocked the ball into Grant's path and Thistle were out of sight now. The Jags front men were trying anything they liked now. Britain drove forward, but substitute Isaac English couldn't get the final touch. Saints had one last attack and at least it brought them a consolation goal. Alan Moore with the run and cross from the right, Curran with the finish, but this was a bad afternoon for the Perth side. A convincing away win though for Thistle. It's important this year for Thistle to stay in the Premier League, you know, and it's important that we take points away from home, so today's a great result for us.